Our programs include many languages. Please log on to our program schedule for more details. SupremeMasterTV.com forward slash schedule. Even though the, these great monks and the Buddha, they already attained our hearts and wisdom, but they still have some ego left. Do you understand me? That is the problem. The ego is the one who makes you judge wrongly and thinking different than you should. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Feliz em ver vocês, telespectadores de Coração Nobre. Meu nome é Beatriz, de São Paulo, do Festivo Brasil. Conhecido como um país que recebe os visitantes com um enorme sorriso, Brasil é o maior país da América Latina e o quinto maior país do mundo. A língua oficial é o português. Contudo, os brasileiros são descendentes de imigrantes de mais de 50 países. E até hoje, há povos tribais indígenas ainda vivendo nas selvas. A mistura de raças tem feito do Brasil um país culturalmente rico e, ao mesmo tempo, único. Essa tremenda diversidade define essa nação como um lugar onde ninguém é estrangeiro, onde se pode mudar o próprio destino sem perder a identidade e onde todo e qualquer brasileiro tem um pouco de todo o mundo em seu sangue. Essa pode ser a razão por que as pessoas recebem tão abertamente todos aqueles que vêm à sua terra. Estamos eufóricos por introduzir-lhes o Brasil encantador de corações. Desejamos-lhes uma vida longa, cheia de saúde e felicidade. Por mais de três décadas, Suprema Mestra Shin Hai tem iluminado o nosso mundo com seus ensinamentos divinos. Uma mestra totalmente iluminada, ela transmite o um método Kuan Yin de meditação àqueles que desejam descobrir imediatamente a natureza de Deus interior e alcançar em uma só vida a eterna liberação do ciclo de transmigração. O método Kuan Yin tem sido praticado por todos os mestres iluminados, tais como Buda, Jesus Cristo, Profeta Maomé, a paz esteja com ele, Guru Nanak e muito mais. Ela enfatiza que se sempre nos lembrarmos de Deus, prestarmos serviço altruísta e seguirmos as leis do universo, chegaremos ao nosso mais elevado potencial como seres humanos. 
e realmente entenderemos nosso propósito na Terra. Suprema Mestra Shin Hai é um extraordinário exemplo vivo de compaixão, regularmente enviando assistência material e financeira, assim como o amor a refugiados, desabrigados, vítimas de desastres naturais e outros que necessitam de socorro. Suprema Mestra Shin Hai está profundamente grata a Deus amado por toda a ajuda financeira, conforto e apoio aos afetados e necessitados, e ou qualquer boa causa ao longo dos anos, como o humilde recipiente para seu a termo neutro para seu, sua compaixão e amor para seus preciosos filhos. Em 2006, ela recebeu o Prêmio Guzzi da Paz, considerado o Prêmio Nobel da Paz do Oriente, e tem sido homenageada ao longo dos anos com inúmeros outros prêmios e honras por suas excelentes ações filantrópicas e humanitárias. Uma voz verdadeira para os nossos belos amigos animais. Ela promove a pacífica e amorosa dieta à base vegetal e visualiza com o despertar da humanidade a sacralidade de toda a vida. Um tranquilo e glorioso mundo inteiramente vegano onde animais e humanos vivem em beatífica harmonia. Suas iniciativas para disseminar a tendência vegana são diversas e têm incluído distribuição de panfletos Vida Alternativa, a Rede Internacional de Restaurantes Veganos Loving Hut, Supreme Master Television, bem como falar regularmente com líderes influentes do governo e dos meios de comunicação e participar de conferências televisionadas sobre mudança climática, quer estejamos cientes disso ou não. Seus esforços têm causado uma enorme influência sobre a consciência global, do estilo de vida amigo dos animais e como essa benevolente maneira de ser pode trazer paz duradoura entre as nações enquanto salva nosso planeta das alterações climáticas. Ao longo dos anos, Suprema Mestra Shin Hai tem viajado por todo o mundo, das Américas à África, da Europa à Oceania e realizado centenas de discursos com o público e com seus discípulos sobre uma variedade de temas espirituais. Hoje, somos abençoados por apresentar uma dessas palestras perspicazes intitulada Histórias Budistas – O Mérito de se Tornar um Renunciante Parte 4 de 8 em Entre Mestra e Discípulos Dada em inglês em 8 de agosto de 2015, na França Imagine Shariputra <coughs> He just took a good, just took, took a, a look at him and he thought to himself, this person is so old and weak, feeble, you know, uh, for the learning, for the meditation, and for the uh, helping with the Sangha, you know, cleaning, whatever, yeah? Three of, three, these kind of three things, He couldn't do any one of them, any of the, any one of the three things. If he come here and become a monk, it's also useless. Imagine number one wisdom. Okay, fine. So then, after he thought first, he said, "You so old and feeble already, and you cannot become monk." And then saw this man hoping with a can, <coughs> go to Mahakashipa. Yeah, and then he asked, and then he go, then Mahakashipa said the same stuff. 
And then he go to Ubali, same thing. And then he went to Analoda, same stuff. And then at the end he went to the 500 Arahant. These 500 Arahant asked him, didn't you, did you go to us, the high monk, the highest monk, or any higher monk yet? He said, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I found a Buddha, I cannot find him. And then, <laughs> and then he went to so and so and so. Yeah, so he put that and then he said, tell me I'm too old. <laughs> and then <laughs> the five, <laughs> The five other hands said, Sariputta is the number one, <laughs> number one, wisdom number one. Yeah? Yeah, the first, uh, wisdom the first, the, the number one. He even wouldn't want to accept you. So we also don't dare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If the best of the medical doctor already refuse a patient, we uh, you just like that. We are just nothing compared to Sariputra, so we also don't want to accept you. Cha cha cha. <sighs> Maybe the book say, uh, not me, uh. Up to now it's all book 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 book, okay? Not <laughs> not I. The, maybe this old person his um, death, you know, energy already appear or something. Therefore, Sariputra doesn't want to save him or help him. And then all the bhikkhu, I mean great monk, also refuse him. And then the, uh, the Mr. Thilabide, he wanted to become monk, not successful. He came back out. Out, he went out of the gate of the, gar, uh, the, the bamboo garden and sat there and cried. And he talked he talk murmuring to himself first. Since I, since I was born as human up to now, I have not done anything wrong. I have not committed any sin. How come only me are not allowed to be monk? Uh, the, uh, 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 the other monk, Yubali, is a very low-class person, also can become a monk. And Nide is, uh, you know, this, uh, the lowest possible class, the one, the scavenger, you know, the one who took all the, the, the human's waste, yeah. yeah, and throw out to earn a living, you know, to go out, yeah. Uh, what is that in Sanskrit? Sutra. Sutra. Is that right? No. Yeah? Chandala. Huh? Chandala. Chanda, Chandala. Untouchable. Nobody would like to touch this person because they think they will lose their class, their caste if they, they touch him. Okay. Chandala. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. So that's the lowest class in India for caste. Yeah? Mm. Chandala. Yes, correct. Almost like a garbage collector, but they collect only humans' waste, you know, because in the old time they don't have, they don't have a toilet. So the rich people, they do it in a bucket, you know, and then somebody will come and collect them, yeah, to earn money for that. So he was comparing himself to these two lowest class in India, who the Buddha has accepted into the Sangha, and then he said, "There's another one." Uh, I don't know how the Sankris name again. Umkwak uh, Mala, he's the one who killed 99 person, not kill, but take the finger from 99 person already, and the Buddha, he wanted to take one, another one. And Buddha still accept him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then he say, Dataki is, is, a, uh, is a very bad uh, rebel, rebels, you know. And then also he can become a monk. How come? What, ha- what sin have I done that I have been refused thirst? So he was uh, talking to himself like that, and then suddenly the Buddha was right in front of him. And then he saw the Buddha's light, you know, spreading all over the planet. And he, the Buddha's body is so distinguished, you know, 
so majestic. He thought it's like a, you know, king of heaven coming down. Yeah. So the Buddha asked him, Tila Bide, why are you crying? So he was so happy. <laughs> he prostrated and kissed the Buddha's feet and then said to him, Praise be the world honored one. There are many people, you know, the one who kills, the one who are rebels, the one who lie, the one who slander, the one who low class, uh, all of them you have accepted, become your monk. How come since uh, I was born until now, I have uh, already 100 years, I have never done any, any great uh, wrong? How come I, all the Pichu, you know, all the monks, great monks, do not accept me and don't let me become monk? Please, you know, praise be honor, will honor one. At home, my wife and children hate me, and I came here to take refuge in the merciful Buddha's light, and then you were not home. And then all the Bichu think that I'm too old, so they don't, they don't accept me. Now if I go back home, I think it will be hell, <laughs> the wife and the children. So maybe I, I just want to die here, kill himself here. Hmm. He shouldn't bother a hundred years, just wait a little while, then he... <laughs> He just go naturally, you know. <laughs> no need to kill himself. <laughs> Make an effort, no? Huh? Okay. So the Buddha say, "Who is the one who told you that this one old cannot uh, become a monk or on that and that?" Yeah. So, the <laughs> of course, <laughs> he told the Buddha, "Hey, the 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 most high." Reverend Sariputra. Oh, man. <laughs> then this is a problem. So the Buddha comforted him, saying, Toy, no, don't worry. Don't be sad anymore. I will let you be a monk. Ah. Because Sariputra is not the one who has, nev- who has done any uh, sacrifice in three great Kappa era, understand? Great, great, many, many, many. You remember, he has been doing many great sacrifice in all many, many, three, four, five years, yeah? That is the billions, billion of years on the planet. Therefore, and also have not uh, practiced wisdom or moral or discipline in three great era, meaning Buddha has done that, yeah. And he also, uh, uh, in the past life, has not diligently done things that is uh, difficult to do. Hmm? Or as if, you know, such as, you know, <coughs> chop chop the head, yeah, I mean sacrifice. Sacrifice, even chop the head, take the eyes out, give to others, yeah, and then cut his nose, his arms, his legs, anything, yeah, and then, uh, how you say, uh, offer the, his own blood or peel in the skin and, and split in the bone to make a pen to write the, the truth and all that. Uh, he was also not the one who throw his body to offer to the hunger tiger to eat. Yeah. He was not the one who jumped into the burning fire, uh, the burning hole of fire. And he was not the one who let the, a thousand nails nail on his body. Yeah. He was not the one who uh, bought a thousand a uh, hole on his body to make light, thousand lamps to offer for the truth, yes? He wasn't the one who even offered his, his own country, his own thorn, golden thorn, his wife, his children, uh, his servants, his uh, great elephant, uh, his, uh, you know, uh, magical horse, 
and his jewelry, his um, other valuable things, yeah? And he was not the one, meaning Sariputra has not done all this, has never done any of this, yeah? Just rely on the Buddha's grace and mercy and become Arahant, number one wisdom, yeah? He is not the one also, uh, many of thousands of eons, has been uh, offering to to uh, eighty thousand, eighty-eight thousand Buddhas in the past lifetime. Yes. So, and that's what the first aeon, the first kalpa, the second kalpa in the middle, he also offer, make offer to nine million nine thousand Buddha. Another, another time. And in the, the last kalpa, I mean the last era, e- epoch or aeon, also offering another 10,000 million Buddha, yeah? And then he wasn't the one who became a monk and keep all the, the precepts perfectly. And then so, with this liberation uh, teaching, the Sariputra cannot say, compared to all this, you know? And in the name of the truth, the Dharma teaching, the Sariputra cannot say, this person can uh, become monk, that person cannot. Meaning, Sariputra has not enough worth, enough merit to judge anyone like that. Yeah. So maybe monk yourself, okay? You can become a monk if you want, but not, not because you're going to stick around me, okay? Yeah, that I don't need. Mm. I was the one that is uh, spreading this uh, liberating dharma. Yeah, I wear the um, the garment of patience, endurance. I sit on diamond days under the body tree. Um, I defeated the Maya. I became the ultimate king of Dharma. No one can compare to me. You just come with me, I will make you a monk. <laughs> Meaning don't listen to Sariputra and all that and don't don't kill yourself, yeah? The Buddha want to save his life. Yeah, okay. So, of course, the old man feeling happy, happy, all the sorrow and trouble gone. Mm. And then he followed Buddha back to the ashram. At the ashram, the Buddha called Sariputta, come here, (laughs) you come here. (laughs) Something like that. You think he would do that? No, he didn't bother. Hmm. He called uh, Linga. Oh my God! Huh? Mogalananda, something like that. The number one magical magician. Yeah, he's number one magical person <laughs> compared to Sariputra, number one wisdom. And Anand, number one record player, yeah. <laughs> memory. Yeah. Okay, so he called Mukin Lin to come and tell him that he has to teach this man, make him a monk, and then train him into monkhood. Because the Buddha, he has a wisdom eye, of course. What do you think, huh? Mm. So he can see who has affinity with him. Mm or who has affinity with someone else, yeah, then that person is better to teach him. You see what I mean? So maybe Sariputta has not affinity with this old man, but Mauha Galanda, whatever that is, the number one magic magician has affinity with him. Yeah. So therefore the Buddha did not blame uh, Sariputra or anyone else, okay? Yeah. You know the number one magician 
obey the Buddha, took the duty to teach this person. Yeah. But he also thought to himself, this man <laughs> so old. Yeah. Oh, how can he learn the sutra? <laughs> how can he meditate? Yeah. And if he helped the Sangha, he also cannot do anything much. He's too old. Yeah. One of the three things he couldn't do even one. But the Buddha has already ordered me to do it. I don't dare to disobey him. Okay. So after a, while, a few days, you know, he uh, he shaved his head, yeah, <laughs> and then give him the clothes to become a, 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 a monk. Yeah. But he doesn't know that because this old man has uh, so many Buddha seats in the former lives, yeah. Therefore, he has he also has been doing a lot of meritorious action in the former life too. And he has learned much of the Buddhist, uh, I mean the truth, Dharma. Therefore, in this lifetime, even though he became a monk too late, so late, but he he learned very fast. It's probably re- repeated, you know, so he knew it yeah, very fast. But because uh, he's too old, so he doesn't have enough, uh, you know, his body probably doesn't do enough of this... Uh, you know, the politeness, you know, kneel on the floor and, you know, if he knew how, how, what he do with a cane, you see what I mean? So probably it's, it's difficult to this uh, curse, you know, <laughs> prostration and too much of this, uh, I don't know what, bureaucracy stuff, ashram bureaucracy, yeah. <laughs> so mostly if the elder monk, you have to prostrate, you know, and praise be the great reverence and that reverend and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even though the these great monks under Buddha, they already attained our hearts and wisdom, but they still have some ego left. Do you understand me? That is the problem. The ego is the one who makes you judge wrongly and thinking different than you should. Yeah. So the 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 younger generation, the younger monks, saw that he. He doesn't know the etiquette, you know? Yeah, etiquette, right? The rules and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, prostrate, not flat enough, you know, because of the knees. <laughs> or maybe the cane is not soft enough. So something like that, you know? Or talking not uh, not in an elegant way to the higher priest, yeah? And not say, praise be you, and I prostrate in front of you, and. You are the greatest monk on earth, thing like that, yeah? Mm. So these uh, younger monks feel that he doesn't know the etiquette of the ashram. And then sometimes they feel that he's too rough, you know, not, not very polite and all that. And then sometimes they scolded him, you know? They scolded him sometimes and tell, tell him this and that, you know, trying to make him understand. And then he doesn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> if you, he's elder, you know, and then he learn fast. He know many things, so he doesn't respect the order of the younger monks also. So they they also look down upon him, huh? Estimados telespectadores, nós apreciamos a sua companhia para o episódio de hoje intitulado Histórias Budistas – O Mérito de Se Tornar Um Renunciante Parte 4 de 8 em Entre Mestra e Discípulos A seguir, série de várias partes acerca das antigas previsões sobre o nosso planeta. Profecia da Era Dourada Parte 14, as tábuas de pedra sagadas dos Hopi e as quatro raças. Logo após, notícias de destaque.
Por favor, fiquem ligados na Supreme Master Television para mais programação positiva. Que vocês sejam abençoados com o mais puro amor do universo. May you be blessed with the purest love in the universe. For more details and to check out our schedule for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule.